Next is from Brian Dunlap. Oh my god, here we go. We're going to get a booking idea here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Subject is Mark Briscoe versus MJF or Claudio Castagnoli for the World Championship. <sighs> Hi, hello, Conan Disco. Sometimes I ask myself, what would Vince McMahon do? Specifically, if he were the one in charge of AEW and Ring of Honor like Tony Khan. When Eddie Guerrero died, McMahon was quick to turn the tragedy into an angle and boost Eddie's close friend Rey Mysterio into the world title picture. However, Vince got plenty of criticism for the way the storyline played out, with one instance coming out to mind of Randy Orton telling Mysterio that Eddie's in hell. Quote, tasteless exploitation of death is what Vince critics called it. Mark's real-life brother, Jay Briscoe, died last month in a car accident. Tony felt like pushing Mark Briscoe in a, as a singles wrestler as a result of this tragedy. How do you think it should play out, and who should be the proper opponent for Mark? If Khan goes with MJF, imagine it playing out like the Mysterio versus... I'm, I'm not even going to read the rest. This is stupid. Um, Brian, this, this, this whole angle is, like, t atrocious. All right? They're, they're not going to pu push Mark Briscoe because his brother died. Okay? Like, that's... So I could see that in Ring of Honor. I Ring of Honor. Okay, well, all right. I'll finish the email then. If Khan yeah. goes with MJF, imagine playing out like Mysterio versus Orton with him insulting the deceased to gain heat. This too will be called tasteless and going too far. In past promos, MJF has had no issue with insulting the dead, but if Tony goes with Claudio as Bark's opponent, it could be a program built on respect culminating the main event of a Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Mark would obviously win the match and become the Ring of Honor World Champion for the first time in his career, and this route would likely be met with a warmer welcome from critics. In 2020, is 2023 the year to make Mark Briscoe a World Champion in the singles division of Ring of Honor or ADW? Uh, the answer is no. He's only been on AEW TV one time. So I think it's, it's a useless... Well, why would you even think that? This guy's not it, on TV. It so. could be a feel-good thing for that Ring of Honor crowd. Uh, and he's whatever, been around 20 years with since the beginning, you know. I could uh, see, I could really actually see that them do that with Mark if if he's for Ring of Honor, for Ring not of Honor, for, yes. for aid, and you can't no. you can't put that shit on a regular no. show. Nobody cares. No. Yeah, Cody, what do you think? Anything? Well, I wasn't thinking of that till he said it, but I do think even in AW, you could get the sympathy factor behind him, and people would get with him, and he's a good talker and a good worker, and you know, you could probably do something. But to me, they don't write good storylines, you know, so. Yeah.